Ja, god kväll! Sverige, Norge, Danmark! Här är det Superbowl! Går det? Louisiana Superdome i New Orleans! Och precis som det gjorde... Superbowl 24 markerar the Denver Broncos third trip to pro football's pinnacle since 1987. Their fourth trip overall. They had yet to win. The San Francisco 49ers arrived in town as defending Super Bowl champions. Their fourth trip to the big game in nine seasons. They had yet to lose. Bonsoir à tous, nous sommes à la Nouvelle Orléans pour la grande finale du football américain professionnel. 24e du titre opposant les 49ers de San Francisco et les Broncos de Denver. American television depicted the event as a showdown between Bronco quarterback John Elway and 49ers superstar Joe Montana. Ironically, many foreign broadcasters seem to have the matchup in much sharper focus. Vedremo se riuscirà in questo e ovviamente tutto il peso di questo va sulla difesa nel fermare Joe Montana. La traiettoria di Joe Montana e ganare un quarto su Pentazon, algo che solo ha hecho San Francisco 49ers. Questa è la parte di quarterback Joe Montana. Des. Montana cara Rice, Montana cara Taylor, e poi Montana cara Brent Jones. E to. Joe Montana, il greatest quarterback of them all, do you reckon? Without question, in my opinion, Joe Montana is the best. He made a believer out of me when they played against the Rams a couple of weeks ago. On their first offensive possession, Joe Montana drove the 49ers 66 yards in 10 plays for Super Bowl 24's first touchdown. Montana, straight back drop, three steps, runs out of trouble. He goes up the middle. He's down to the 21 yard line and has a first down for the first. Come on, Rice in this corner! Jerry Rice never did make it all the way to the corner. Unfortunately for Denver, the middle of the end zone counts just as much. Tom Rathman was Montana's primary receiver on the play. Montana's second look was at tight end Brent Jones. With Rice still covered, Montana turned to a fourth receiver, John Taylor, on the far side of the pattern. Finally, he worked his way back to Rice, then watched as Bronco safety Steve Atwater went for the knockout instead of the tackle. So now the Broncos go on offense. It is first and ten at the 26-yard line. They trail seven to nothing. Bobby Humphrey in the backfield. Elway with a shovel pass to Humphrey. Cuts to his left of the 30, gets to the 35. He's up field. He almost broke it. He's across the 50 in the San Francisco territory at the 47-yard line. Montana. Denver's response was a shovel pass to running back Bobby Humphrey that nearly went the distance. The irony was it would be John Elway's longest pass completion of the afternoon. Here's the snap. Kubiak's got it down. Here's the kick. It is on the way, and it is good. A 42-yard field goal for David Treadwell. And the Broncos are on the board with 6 minutes and 47 seconds to go in the first period. San Francisco 7 and the Broncos 3. Come on, man. Hold on. Let's go. Right here, Dean. Right here. Right here. Right here. Make the play. Right here. Make the play. Field rush. Five outside. Three. Three. Use your techniques, Bob. Use your techniques. Number 71 Pro Bowl nose tackle Greg Cragen wore a wireless microphone in Super Bowl 24, allowing us to eavesdrop on Denver's defensive efforts. You know it too, Bruce. 
During the regular season, the Bronco defense allowed the fewest points in pro football. On San Francisco's second offensive possession, Denver shut down Joe Montana and the 49ers. That's the way to work. That's the way to work, man. That's the way to play. I'm telling you. Why are we playing football? We're getting him in third down and we make the play. We just make the play in third down. Bratton comes in motion to the right. It's a handoff to Humphrey. He slants over left tackle and Fagan drops him immediately. The ball is loose. The ball is loose. The 49ers believe they have it. It is San Francisco's ball on the fumble by Humphrey. Stripped off and appeared by Fagan. Hold up. That's all right. That's just a chance to hit him again. Keep hitting him. Montana puts it on the hip, back to throw, steps up, finds a man over the middle. Jerry right to the 45, and he is dragged down right at the first down marker. That's good. Come on. Suck it up. Black 59 laser. Black 59 laser. Montana rolls to his right, trying to find somebody open. Wants to throw, does on the run, coming back for it with Taylor. It's batted away by Braxton. Braxton wouldn't let him catch it. Throws across the middle, right has it at the 15. He breaks the tackle of the 10. He's inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. It'll be first and goal for the 49ers. Montana rolls to his right, throws to Brent Jones, great catch, he's into the end zone, touchdown 49ers! Brent Jones, who Jerry Rice says has the best hands on the team, showed it on that touchdown catch, reaching up to bring it down. And a little different wrinkle. A missed extra point offered Denver little consolation. And for Cragen and the Bronco defense, the worst was still to come. In the second quarter, Denver grew more determined. San Francisco became more diversified. Fullback Tom Rathman moved to the top of San Francisco's play-calling chart. Montana drops back the throw. Across the middle, it is caught by Rathman. He flies to the two-yard line. First down, he's right at the mark. Joey made a sensational catch. Oh. He reached back one-handed. He got a ball that was a little bit behind him and brought it in. Just sensational catch by Rathman. Joe gives it to Rathman. He's into the end zone. Touchdown 49ers with a submarine drive. What's happening, man? The battered Broncos could not seem to fight their way off the ropes. And with 40 seconds left in the first half, they would not be saved by the bell. Pump fake by Montana, launches it for the end zone! Jerry Rice! Oh, what a catch by Rice! Touchdown, 49ers, 38-yard touchdown pass down the middle. San Francisco's well-conceived game plan struck again. Their shell-shocked opponents would now have to live with the consequences. You still, you got to play a whole other half. So, and then you can have beat, man. Get after it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Amid the offensive fireworks of the first half, one man's role was clearly not what he'd hoped it would be. John Elway's very first pass of the game set the tone.
Elway and the Bronco offense were never in sync. In all fairness to the beleaguered quarterback, Denver's ineffectiveness was not all his fault. Throughout the first half, the 49er defense sniffed out, then snuffed out Denver's favorite offensive designs. Witness Charles Haley short-circuiting a shovel pass. Inside linebacker Matt Millen dismantling a sweep. Defensive lineman Piers Holt and Kevin Fagan chasing down screen passes. San Francisco's dogged defense finally forced a fatal mistake from John Elway. It was Denver's first offensive play of the second half. Elway steps back to throw, and it's intercepted by Michael Walker. He's back to the 27-yard line. Montana drops back to throw, looks over the field, goes for the end zone, Jerry Wright, touchdown 49ers! Some quarterbacks fail to capitalize on opportunity. Joe Montana lives for these moments. And each new angle fosters new appreciation for his deadly precision. Starts to move out. Now he lets it go. Throws it downfield. Should be picked off, and it is. Chet Brooks is back to the 50. He's down to the 45. He's to the 40, and he steps out of bounds near the 38-yard line. This time, Montana actually wasted a play before wasting the Denver Broncos. Throws for the end zone. Taylor! Touchdown, 49ers! Two interceptions. And two historic touchdown passes drained what little drama remained in Super Bowl XXIV. The showdown had become a one-man show. Sadly, the only matter left to be resolved was whether Denver would become only the second team in Super Bowl history not to score a touchdown. So it is a first and ten at the 14-yard line. Humphrey and Bratton in the backfield. Elway drops back to throw. Goes to the end zone. He's got a receiver, Clarence Kay. And there's a flag on the play. Romanowski has an interception, but will they count it? Indeed, linebacker Bill Romanowski gets an A for effort. But since he was clearly playing the receiver, notice the hand in Clarence Kay's face. His outstanding play was properly ruled face guarding, a form of pass interference, giving the Broncos first and goal on the one. Red 98! Sewell goes in motion, Elway collides with Humphrey, and Humphrey gets it down to the line of scrimmage, and that's about it. On the play, guard Doug Widell was supposed to trap San Francisco's Jim Burke. But Burt penetrated so quickly, he disrupted the handoff. Pursuit squashed the play. On second down, Wydell was asked to trap linebacker Charles Haley. But once again, Burt penetrated effectively, driving his man into Wydell's path. 
allowing Haley to mess things up. So now it is third and goal at the three, and Elway will use the shotgun with four or five receivers. Two to the left, three to the right. Elway's going to try to run it himself. He gives ground back to the six. He should get in and does. Touchdown, Denver. That's a planned play, quarterback draw, wanted to run it up the middle, started to go, and that was plugged up, bounced it outside, and got in the end zone. We call a draw before the play. We call a draw. We wait on him, and he should be it outside. The good news for Denver, they'd scored a touchdown. The bad news, there were still 22 minutes left in Super Bowl XXIV. With defeat staring them in the face, the Denver Broncos now had to be concerned with the historical dimensions of their loss. I tell you what, these guys want some more points. They're gonna try to run this shit up on us. They're gonna run this shit up on us. They're gonna, they gonna want some more. They're gonna try to get six. Throw in the eight. Throw in the eight. 44. 44. <laughs> It's not that the San Francisco 49ers intended to run up the score, but with so many weapons at his disposal and a Super Bowl record for points scored so close, Joe Montana just couldn't avoid it. Montana drops back, looking for the end zone, but instead goes short to Craig. He takes it at the 15, goes inside the 10, and goes down to the 7-yard line before Scott Curtis makes the tackle, and the 49ers have a first and goal after a 12-yard pickup. Shotgun again on second and 11 at the 22. No way back to throw. Has to step out of trouble. Being pursued by Pollard and Griffin. Ball is fumbled. 49ers pick it up. Duff brings it back. He's to the one yard line. 49ers will have a first and goal. Matt Millen is telling him to keep his head up. Look at that. Millen went to Elway and said, come on, don't, uh, don't let us do this to you mentally. Another great defensive play. Another Bronco turnover. Another 49er touchdown. Mercifully, their last in Super Bowl 24. With the big doggy, baby! Back to back, baby. <laughs> the boy is going to party tonight. Hey! Here comes Joe out of the ball game. Steve Young comes in, and this gives Joe Montana a chance to get what he deserves, a tremendous ovation from this crowd at the Superdome. And people on their feet, a lot of standing O's out there for Joe Montana's spectacular performance again today. Could very well be his third Super Bowl MVP award. During this ultimate team triumph, one man's performance elevated the play of all those around him. But down here, he went A right or, or C right or left, man free release, backer, I had like two steps on him. That middle backer slow. He processed his teammates' input, then turned it into touchdowns. His pass catchers barely broke stride. And so it came as no surprise to those who'd witnessed this coronation that Joe Montana was named the game's most valuable player, the crown prince of pro football's royal family. Congratulations for everything. <laughs> very, 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 very much. Thank you. I'll tell you what, I'm happy for you. Back to back. Back to back. Back to back. 
Number that. one. Back to back to back now. We already be satisfied. We want to get three. That's right. We want to get three more. You know, what do you call it? Three, uh, uh, three P. <laughs> three P. Go for the three P. <laughs> Vince Lombardi's Green Bay Packers were the first team to win back-to-back -back Super Bowls, running away with games one and two. Don Shula's Miami Dolphins duplicated the feat with wins in Super Bowl seven and eight. Chuck Knoll's Pittsburgh Steelers did it twice in Super Bowls 9 and 10, and again in games 13 and 14. Their total of four Super Bowl victories stood as the all-time high until the coronation. Hey, Jerry, can you become the first team to make it three Super Bowl championships in a row? I feel we can. we got a great team, a great organization, and I'm just looking forward to next year. Here it is, baby. Next year, 3 P. We're going for three again. For the first team in the history to do that. That's our next goal. We're so happy and proud of this football team. There's no question about it. I'm happy for them that they were able to achieve this goal. If they want to go for another one, that's fine with me.